friends, I am here finally doing this altar tour video that I promised you. My altar has been feeling like it has needed a freshen up, a good deep clean and a reorganize for quite a few weeks now. But I really, really wanted to show you before I changed it all up. Some of you already know, um, but for those of you who don't, I just kind of have this thing where I don't mind sharing my altar, but I need to share it at the end of its use. So I change up my altar semi-regularly. Um, I don't have a specific set thing. I don't do it every season or every sabbat or anything like that. I do it when I feel I need to, when I feel I want to. Um, so I don't mind kind of going in deeply and sharing it with you, but I want it to be at the end of that cycle. There's just something about um, bringing other people's energy into it um, in in the way of sharing it online like this that just doesn't quite feel right. So even though I'm happy to have it behind me in the background when I'm doing videos, I also film in this space um, when I'm doing client work and videos for students and things like that, that's fine. But there's just something about sharing all of it and going in deep that I don't like to do when I'm still very much using the space. So. Uh, the altar has been like this for quite a few months now. I set this at the beginning of autumn, roughly. Uh, we're kind of well into winter now, so um, it's going to have a more winter vibe soon. But for now, this is what we've got. So I wanted to go in. I wanted to show you what I've got going on here. Um, if you have any questions at all, let me know. Uh, but let's jump in. Okay, you guys, I've just had to bring in Bellatrix, my, um, my newest little baby. Uh, so she's eating in the background. So I don't know if you're gonna hear chewing or what's happening, but that's what that is. Sorry if it's gross. I think she'll be quiet. <laughs> this is what it is today, but <clears throat> we're not here to talk about my menagerie. We're here to do an altar tour. So let's begin over here. So here we've got my working candle. This is a great big pillar candle, as you can see. I like to use a black candle as my working candle. So this is a candle that I will burn when I'm doing spell work particularly. Um, or any kind of you know workings um, I like to light it as well if I'm just coming to the altar to like spiritually connect or something like that if I want it to have a bit more of a I don't know what the word is like a, an official vibe I guess <laughs> I'll light this candle so this um, candle the brand is Illum and it is Smoky Woods and they the Illum candles come in all different sizes you can actually get them off a website candles to go um, I'll pop the link down there for any of you um, in Australia who want to use that <clears throat> so it's .com.au it's really really good um, you can choose different sizes and stuff like that anyway so I have my working candle there in um, this cute cast iron pan thing um, I've had a few of you ask me I don't know where to get them this was my grandma's and um, it was in her stuff for <laughs> I don't know the last 25 years or something um, and my mum like a few years ago pulled it out and was like oh do you want this and I was like hell yeah that's friggin awesome so that's that it's sitting here on top of these two books so let me show you I've got all these little <laughs> pumpkins around um so old style conja so this is really cute um this is just like little daily wisdoms um, that you can go through. I haven't read it for a little while. I've been quite bad actually keeping up with my little daily readings, which is a shame. But <laughs> um, it's just, you know, each day it has a little little um, proverb, if you will. But, you know, yeah. So that's cute. Um, it was really cheap. And um, it's just something I thought I would go through this year. So I'm a little off behind, as I said, but I'll get into that again. And then, all right, let me do this. Hang on. And then here I have Daily Magic by Judica Isles. So this is a daily um, thing that you go through as well. And it has a little bit about each day. It's very saint heavy, um, which I was really surprised about. So there's a lot of information about saints in here, um, how you can work with them and kind of their whole their whole deal I guess there is other magical stuff as well like there's various spells and different feast days for different deities and things like that but by and large it's very very heavy on the saints so I didn't know that when I purchased the book um, I'm not super into the saints it's quite interesting but 
yeah, if you are into saints, if you're interested in working with them, I recommend this book because it's going to introduce you to tons, <laughs> tons and tons of different saints that you can work with. Um, it won't obviously go into deep detail about any of them, but it's a really good way to like get a taste and that kind of thing. Um, and then you can go in deeper with your own research. So normally I have those um, where I can actually reach them and this has been part of the reason because I've had so much going on at my altar, it's needed to be redone for so long that I haven't been going in there. Um, I just want to mention too on my working candle, if any of you are interested, I actually have carvings on there, which I've turned around the other way, symbols of power and I also um, dress it in oil. So if that's something that you're wanting to do for yourself, it's a little tip if you want to do that. Um, behind there I have this cool um, incense burner. I love this one. So it's got pentacles on it. Um, this is one I just found in a $2 store and I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. I've never seen one that I've liked so much. So I love having that there. Um, I just have this working here that's for someone. Um, this little lapis lazuli is just sitting here because I wanted it out on my next altar. So it's just plonked there for the moment. I've got this cool old bone here. This is one that was gifted to me by my friend at Pandora Lacora. I have various sort of... Um, little leaves and things scattered around they're just fake leaves I also have a bunch of little pomegranates that you can see um, and then over here I've got my cauldron on this awesome stand I love this I saw this uh, I think it was a working that um, Savannah of Black Witch Coven actually um, did and she had you know a cauldron stand like this and and I was just like, oh my God, I love that. So I wanted to get one as well. It took me, oh my God, it was a thing and a half to hunt one down, let me tell you, especially over here. Um, but if you can get one, they're really cool and you can put little cauldrons on them and I just absolutely love it. So at the moment that cauldron is, well, sorry, always this particular cauldron is my burner. So I don't do anything else in the cauldron, but burn incense and that sort of thing. Um, little Bella. I don't know if you guys can, I just show you. Look at how cute she is. She's still so tiny. Tiny baby. <laughs> okay, Um. let's see what else. We I kind of can't see because I've got this stand here. So I'm trying to like <laughs> see what you can see. Over here I've got my, um, a glass of water. So this is one that I put there every single day and it's on this really cool like leaf coaster thing. Um. Over on the side in this bit here, this is the deity. Um the newest kind of deity in my life, <laughs> I suppose. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about her, but there I've got flowers. You can see they're dead, dead, dead. So she normally has fresh flowers every week. It's been quite a couple of weeks. I've been very not good. So um, yes, she's needing some nice fresh flowers there. And I've got some other little like offerings and things around here. Um, I've got her oil, a perfume for her. Um, and then in this thing at the front right there, um, I've got a bunch of cigars. So they're quite little cigars. You'll see some more of those as we go around. I've got some sort of scattered around. Um, I use those as offerings for her, but they're also for workings as well. So um, particularly for poppet work um, or doll baby work, um, whatever you want to call it, I, will, I like to breathe life um, into them with cigar smoke. I don't actually smoke myself anymore. Um, I did used to smoke, although I wasn't a cigar smoker. That's pretty hardcore. <laughs> although I don't mind cigars, I've got to say. But um, yeah, so I only smoke those very specifically for different workings and stuff. And it's not super often. I don't want to take up smoking again because it was a fucking shitstorm to give up last time. It was horrible. I never, ever, ever want to have to give up smoking again. It was just fucking awful <laughs> um but i did it yay and now we move on right so <laughs> anyway so i smoke the occasional cigar for a specific purpose never the whole thing look at me trying to like justify myself here all right now down in the front oh sorry that was a bit of a a plop down in the front i have this beautiful candle let me just reach around so paddy wax apothecary tobacco and patchouli if you can get one of these for yourself do yourself a favor it smells incredible but I'm really disappointed because this brand is already quite expensive 
I got myself a couple of different scents and they're just gorgeous and I wanted to buy one for my friend um, so I was looking at them the other day so when I bought these it was quite some time ago they were $28 each which is still quite a bit now they're $50 each this is obviously in Australia so I was like I can't I just don't feel like I can justify buying a $50 candle. Like if that friend knew that it was $50 worth, do you know what I mean? Like I would feel okay about that because she's just going to be like, oh cool, like it's a candle, whatever. It's really nice, you know. Maybe you'd pay 20 bucks for it, right? Like I just, I don't know, I just have this thing. So I'm just like, I just, yeah. It's very expensive at the moment and we know things are crazy right now financially in the world so hopefully the price of these will come down again at some point but until they do I'm not going to be purchasing them it just doesn't feel worth it to me <laughs> now down in the front I have a bunch of witches burrs they have all kinds of different names but when I was walking the other day um, a tree near me had dropped all of these so I decided to um, wildcraft or harvest some of those here's the babies you want to cut it walking around now I haven't um, spent much time with her yet today normally I spend many hours with her but she's been alone in her little room all day she uh, the other cats haven't really accepted her yet the oldest one has but of the other two so we still need to keep her separate um, in case someone should decide to eat her that wouldn't be very nice <laughs> now over here I have this set up at the front before this was all clear which I actually really, really liked. I like having the wood all clear. But I was um, filming some stuff for some clients um, and I just noticed like you could see the ring of the light in the wood and it was just terrible. So I needed to put a cloth down and I really like the cloth there actually. So I've actually ordered another cloth which is the same as this. So it's got the snake on it. You can't know, you can't really see what it is there, but it's this cool snake pattern. But it's black because I actually really like the darker the darker look so um that'll be arriving sometime soon and that's going to go on the old stuff oh my baby girl oh, can you hear her purring she's so cute as he's trying to eat my hand um anyway so i have this working this is set up for a client so it's a spell demonstration um so i just still have that sitting there i haven't packed it away yet um, and then I sort of have this set up so the the cloth was set up for readings <laughs> so I've got my divination candle um, I've got some psychic oil here and a bit of amethyst and a few different crystals around for that and then I plonked the um, the stump there and to do workings on there anyway so that's just that so it's not really my stuff it's like work stuff you know now further up here I have so this is like a jar of like beachery <laughs> I don't know it's got some different sand and some shelves and stuff like that from my local beach here and I use that to connect in with that energy when I'm here in the house um, I have a little uh, working here this is my um, beautiful quartz generator which I will use to send up and out energy um, behind that there that's some uh, mixture for my deity there now this picture here at the back is is trees on the side I actually want to switch that out um, it's a beautiful picture picture of where I used to live but I want to switch that out and put in an image of the beach across the road at sunset specifically so I haven't like gone and taken a bunch of photos to actually um to, to put one in there so I usually want to go for walks I don't particularly like taking stuff with me to listen to I generally tend to prefer uh, just going for a walk so the last many times I've been to the beach um I haven't had my phone on me or anything like that or my camera certainly not so yeah, I haven't actually changed that yet. Um, but in there I also have sitting um, a Joker card. So I love the Joker. I've had an obsession with like the Joker, the archetype of the Jester, like for forever. Like the clown as well. Like when I was growing up, like I just love clowns. Like I don't find them creepy at all. And I have this thing as an artist. I love drawing sad clowns. Like there's just something so... I don't know what it is it's just they're beautiful to me I don't find them creepy at all I know like especially there was like that crazy stuff after um American Horror Story did that clown thing there was like crazy fucking people in the states dressing up as clowns and shit I might feel differently if I had experienced that <laughs> but anyway I just I just yeah I love that so much so um, that's why I really love the full card. I feel like it's a very, so obviously, a very similar kind of vibe. So I really love the full and the tarot. And there's a book, um, 
There's a series of books anyway that um, are amazing. So The Assassin's Apprentice is the first one. And in it, there is The Fool. The Fool is one of kind of the major characters of this story, which it's really the, interesting the way she's written it. So it's groups of three books and it's all in the same world, but they're like their own separate kind of series as well. But there is nine books in total with these two characters in there together, The Fool and Fitz. Anyway, it's fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, so I have this thing with the Jester, the Fool and all that. So I've got the card there from a playing card deck. I just had to take it out. You know, they got two in there. So when I read with them, um, I only use one of the cards there. Um, next to that, I have this Crow's Wing here. So this is one that I have collecting myself so I'm looking behind me here because Bellatrix is getting into stuff she's so naughty you guys oh my god she's gonna drive me crazy as she grows older can you hear her she's in the cupboard now climbing all over my oils and stuff oh she's like a little rat <laughs> anyway I love her uh, so yes, yeah, so I've got a crow's wing that I did harvest myself um, that was a whole thing many years ago and then over to the side just here I've got a bunch of crow's feathers there as well and down in front, I have this thing <laughs> of all my grandma's stuff. So this is like something that I used to obviously connect with her. So that's a picture of her in the front. There's a coin from Poland, um, which is where she is from. Um, her glasses, her purse, a couple of her perfumes. And this, this thing was hers as well, um, that it was all sitting in. And there's also a rosary in there too. Um, so that's all there for her. And then just behind that here, I've got some Florida water, which I have um, frankincense and sandalwood in. So I like to use that for various spiritual work. And behind that in this gorgeous glass bottle, look at this. So stunning. Um, I have my own Florida water. So I've been making my own Florida water and I am obsessed, you guys. So I do want to show you how to make my recipe, but it's going to take a while. So one of the main ingredients is tangerine peel, um, which I actually steep in vodka. And for the last batch, which you can see it's starting to get down a bit now, um, but for the last batch, that part it like it steeped for like three or four months like it was ages um and that was just because I, I was like I don't know what to do with this so I had these tangerine peels and I put them in the vodka to make like a tincture or something right and I wasn't sort of sure what to do with it so I just left them in there for ages and then once I was ready to take them out because I was like I'll put the put this into my Florida water the scent was so beautiful and you can still smell it in the Florida water. So I'm going to have to see this next time. Do I need to leave them in there as long or not? But it's only just coming into tangerine season now. So there is a neighbor a few streets away from me that has a tangerine tree, which is where I got them from last season. So I'm going to wait to see if they pop a bunch. They're usually really good. They put out like boxes of lemons and tangerines and different things that they have. A lot of people around here do that kind of thing, which is cool. So um, I, yeah, I want to get them from them because then I know that they're organic, you know, and they're um, homegrown and they're my, like from my, like very much my local area as well. But once I get those, once I steep the tangerine peels, I will show you how to make <laughs> my, um, my Florida water recipe. It smells really, really good. I love it. And then at the back here in this skull, I have like, so it was brewed as a spell booster oil. But now it's kind of like, it's become kind of like a talisman of magic. I don't really know how to describe it, but I really love it anyway. It's super cute. I've got a little um, light burning behind it so you can kind of see. I don't know, you probably can't really tell in here, but there's various um, botanicals in there that I'm not going to go into. Yeah, it feels like more of a talisman of power for the space. So anyway, and that's just sitting up on a, um, a tarot box there, purely for height. <laughs> um, and at the back, you can see a little bit, I've got this gorgeous picture here and I showed it in a vlog. The picture, hang on, let me go across so we can actually see. That's better, isn't it? So the picture is called the Tea Leaf Reader. I love reading tea leaves personally. 
and um, and I love all things divination as so many of us do and this image is just so freaking beautiful but she sent that for free so with the image which was an 8 by 10 I believe uh, she just sent this free little postcard so I was like perfect that's going on the altar and then next up I have this cool like birch tree light here I've got some beads hanging off here for deity but I also have my little crow in the tree there. Um, so crows, as you may be able to tell, are very important to me. I work with them quite a bit in my magic, so there's just a lot of crow stuff happening there. And then I've got, um, this is a, I can't remember what they're called, a string thing. I wanted to say pomander, but that's not right, because that's the little, that's oranges stuck with stuff, that's round balls. Anyway, I've got this stringy thing <laughs> that I made. Um, so this has got apples, um, strawberries, blueberries, rose, and uh, mushrooms on there as well. So, um, yeah, and some witch balls at the very end. I don't know, you can kind of see, sorry, like right there, that one, little witch ball on either end as well. So for a specific purpose there. And then down here I have this cool purple skull. This is just for looks, you guys, to be honest. Um, so that's just some fake flowery stuff, but I just love the look of that. Kind of reminds me of Sideshow Bob a little bit, that, you know, <laughs> I just I just love it so much. Um, so I have that sitting there down here in front of some workings and stuff I've got going on down there. So over to the side, I have this cool tree. I really love having artificial light on the altar. I was always really big into candles, but particularly in summer, I can't burn that many candles. It just gets too hot, And but I love the light. So I've been discovering, I've been really enjoying adding different battery lights and things to the altar as well. Some people are real funny about that, like they want to keep it very like pure and natural and that kind of thing but I really love adding these lights in it just gives so much vibe right especially at night time and it means I can have the main light off I can have some candles burning for specific purpose if I need to need to want to but I can just have these on for light so I'm not having to burn candles purely for light like I was finding that a little bit annoying because most well at the moment all candles but before most candles were on my altar for a specific purpose but I'd need light and I wouldn't want to burn them just to burn them you know what I mean so anyway I have that there <laughs> and um and I really love it and this is what all the little um pumpkins are from as well you're supposed to like stick them all over the tree but they're upside down so I just think that's dumb like when you put them on they sit I'll show you with this one they sit like this onto the tree so it's like I don't know they're upside down anyway and then at the back I've got my gorgeous lantern that my husband bought me f a million years ago and that's got um, just a battery operated candle in there as well. Some at the front there which are all sitting on this cool, I've had this on my altar for forever. Um, it's just a cement like garden paver that I found on the side of the road years ago and uh, sometimes I'll bring that out and like actually sort of do stuff on it, um, use it for various things but it's just kind of sitting at the back there. I really like as you can tell like different heights and things like that, different textures, different colours. I, I, you guys, I'm an artist that doesn't paint. <laughs> I hardly do art anymore. I'm doing a little bit more in my like bullet journal now but I, I barely do anything um, and this is how I create art. I create art through space and this is just my jam, absolutely my jam. And then I've got another little um, plant over here which is another, I'm trying to get my finger in this chat, <laughs> I'm like sitting weird behind there. Anyway, so I've got a little plant there, um, there was a spell working, I'm just trying to, there we are, there was a spell working in this cool candle holder here, although not currently, obviously, it's burnt out, so that all it all needs to be changed and fixed and cleaned and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've got the Gypsy Witch um, little box there. I, I loved the colour, like I love that really orange, bright, garish colour, so I wanted to bring that into the altar, which is why it's sitting there. I do have those cards out though as well. Coming down here, I've got my cute little house just here, so... Bellatrix, what are you doing? Oh, she's walking on my fucking books. Hang on. This one, I swear. You gonna finish your lunch? All right. <laughs> so I've got, um, yeah, this is a little um, cone burner. So I absolutely love that. It's so cute. It has a little smoke that comes out the chimney. You can actually see it on the opening of my, um, in my like intro clip. <laughs> That's the little one there. 
And then just in front of that about there, I think, I can't see properly on the screen, um, I've got my candle snuffer. I found that one. It's so pretty. I found it in a charity store like years and years and years ago. It was all covered in wax. So I had no idea how beautiful it was until I like cleaned it all off and I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. I think I got it for like $2 or something. Seriously, you guys, raid your thrift stores, raid your op shops, raid your local charity stores because you'll find all kinds of incredible stuff. And it might take you years to find all these incredible things as it did for me, but you'll amass a really gorgeous collection. Like you've just got to go and some days you find awesome stuff, some days you don't. Sometimes you find one thing, sometimes you find many, but it's a great place to find different bits and pieces for your witchery, nice and cheap. Hello, baby girl. She wants a cuddle. My baby wants a cuddle. All right, she's sitting up here in my arms now. She's gonna be our little mascot for the video. Down here, this is kind of like my divination section here. So I have the um, Gypsy Witch cards, these ones here, and then I have Angels and Ancestors Oracle, and then I have my Rider Waite Smith here. So um, I like to put my card for the day up in this spot, um, and today I have the Queen of Cups. I also have the um, some King Solomon oil there, just right here. So this is to draw in wisdom. Um, I use this when I'm doing readings, um, particularly for others, not so much for myself, unless I'm feeling like there's obviously a specific inquiry that I'm really needing, <laughs> really needing some download on. Then I'll wear that as well. It smells so good, you guys. So this one's um, a Lucky Mojo oil and it, oh, it smells fucking phenomenal. It's my favorite one that I've smelt um, of theirs so far. The King Solomon Wisdom Oil. So, so good. And then I have this cute little sage dude here. Um, that was found in a charity store too. But for me, again, he represents wisdom as well. Excuse me, baby. Please stop that. No? She's getting into my stuff. Stop that. Now behind that, you can see this remnant of candle here. So this is my very first, you guys, oh my God, I'm so excited. It's my very first figure candle. So figure candles are what they sound like. They are a figure of a man or a woman in a candle. And they're really expensive to buy in Australia. I had managed to find a place where you can get them for about $10. I can't remember the store name off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen for you guys and I'll leave a link down below just in case any of you are wanting to purchase those. But obviously you've got to pay for shipping as well. Um, so they're $10 and I was like, I still didn't really want to pay that either, even though it's really good. compared. Normally they're about $20 each as far as I could find. So I was like, you know what? I need to be making my own candles. So that is my first test. And, um, and I've been learning some stuff. So I know that I've, the wick that I used is too thick. So it just, it just burns like mad when I have that going. Um, but I've learned that now. So I've got some new wick on the way. So I'll be making some more of those. I just, oh my God, I loved it. Like I, it was a spell demonstration video. I used it like as a poppet essentially. And um, it was just for a demonstration video. So I was like, I don't mind how it burns. Um, plus I just need to test out how it burns. But I loved working with it so much. So I really, really enjoy it. Can you not bite my ankle, please? Um, I really enjoy, as I mentioned before, working with dolls and poppets and that kind of thing for magical purposes. I find it very, very easy to... Ouch. Oh, she's such a little shit. She's like running at me and like getting me with her nails and then running off again. You're so cheeky. She's really cuddly, but she also has so much energy, which is why I think she's just going to be an absolute terror as she gets older. She jumped up on my curtains the other day. <gasps> so, Matt, hey, she's doing it right now. Stop it. So I've got my cards here on a rabbit fur. So beautiful grey rabbit fur there. Ouch. Kitten claws. No. And then over to the side here. Over here, I've got a bunch of different oils that I reach for regularly or semi-regularly. I've got a bunch under the altar as well, but if I'm reaching for them a bit more regularly, I like to kind of have them out for ease um, and this really cool coffin shelf thing. So yes, various oils there. I won't go into detail about that. It's probably not that interesting. <laughs> and then up here on my moon shelf. I've had a ton of you ask me about this. So it was actually a piece that my husband found for me on the side of the road a few years ago. And it was this horrible color. It was black and red. It just looked gross. Um, but I was like, oh my God, it's perfect, right? So I just gave it a few coats of paint and now it's this beautiful kind of light lavendery color. It's actually the same color as my wall. 
um, the other wall over out of shot. Yes, so I have that there. So on there I've got um, Ganesh and you know his offering bowl and further down I've just got a cool little stump that I found forever ago there it was a little cut off um, this is like literally probably like eight years nine years ago or something that I've had forever you need to sit still please um, and then I've got a bundle of rosemary and lavender no just lavender sorry that was a gift and then a rose behind that and then up on this shelf it's a really cool shell that my son found me and it's just oh it's got all this little crustaceans and things all over it. it's so beautiful and then um, a carnation flower and then further up up the top there I've got some peace water on there and a little possum skull um, and then hanging up I've got some witch balls here and here um, so this is one that I made with my actually no sorry neither of those are ones I made are they no um, both of them were purchased so one of them was from oh gosh was it juniper moon i don't think so i think it might have been someone else i can't remember the one here it was um oh, it was an etsy purchase i can't remember who it was now um the other one was a gift um this one here so i just absolutely love that and you can kind of see up here i've got um some real ivy i've been so there's fake ivy over this side this beautiful darker green stuff over here but then over here I've got real ivy I was just clearing out um, I've got an ivy plant at the front which I recently um, commandeered from someone's garden and um, it had a bunch of like dead branches and stuff so I cleared it all up brought it in here and I have that across there so I really love that too and up here I have my ancestor altar um, so this is just a section, you know, to connect with them. I really wanted to have them like in this altar space, but in a little separate section as well. So I did used to have a separate altar for them, but I just find that I use one altar a lot and then I use my other altars rarely. So I wanted it to have a lot more energy being used, you know, in that space, me spending a lot more time there. Um, so I actually put up this little shelf here or did I put it up? Maybe my husband put it up. He normally puts up the shelves for me <laughs> um, and I just love it so much so um, this little candle holder I found in a charity store this is one that I have used for Baba Yeager in the past um, but I like that is where my roots are from um, so I just feel like she ties in well with you know my ancestral work as well not that she is there but it is something that reminds me of her and yet you know works well with the ancestral space if that makes sense um, I've got this image here this is a Polish thing so I have quite a few different sort of wood uh, art pieces I mean I always thought of them as plates not that you could ever use them as that because they like it's literally like a 3d kind of sticking out picture and stuff like it's carved in there but um, yeah I love that like it was up on my grandparents wall um, ever since I you know before I was born and yeah so that's something I inherited and really love um, I've got a little chili actually hanging here on the side too um, that's kind of a little charm that's doing its own thing um, and the Hamsa hand here um, I actually purchased this to stick in my window in a different room but I loved it so much that I was like well it's staying here <laughs> I'll order another one which I still haven't got around to but you know I just I'm so, I'm so terrible like I buy things for other parts in the house but then I'm just like I'm like I really love it so I add it to my little cave here my cave of wonders <laughs> um, and then okay what do we have up here so I've got a little tiny rose quartz there laying down I might show you from above later but I've got a skeleton key which is a working um, and there's a cool little like kind of cross uh, thing <laughs> there I've got um, the ancestors um, incense burner so I burn frankincense for them that's what's going right now I don't know if you can see uh, but there's some smoke coming out of there so I burn them frankincense sticks little Bella's falling asleep in my arms now she's so cute and then behind that in the glass about there I think I can't see properly um, but I've got some Palo Santo in there that I burn for them um, hanging down here I've got this beautiful amber piece so it's a beautiful amber necklace um, that one of my spell casters actually made um, so she sells jewelry and she had that and I was like oh my god I 
need that. So amber, for those of you who don't know, um, is very like, I don't know, like common isn't the word, but there's a large kind of supply that has come from Poland. Like, you know, there's a lot of amber over there, or at least there was before they mined it all. I don't know what it's like now, but not mind it, but you know what I mean. Um, so it's actually, you know, amber is tree sap um, that is fossilized. So it's a lovely piece and it's got like a tree on it. So I felt like that was for my ancestors. It's kind of a little bit too chunky for me to wear, just sort of my style. So that's a talisman for them. Um, next to that there is this really cool Mary thing. I don't think you can see, you can't see the bell. Um, but there's a, a, I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, it, my camera stand's literally covering that spot. So I can't see what you can see. But there's a little bell in it anyway. You can actually ding it. Oh my God, it's so cute. And so my grandparents were Catholic. So that's just a piece that makes sense for them. Um, next to that there, I've got a little glass of water for them so that they get a fresh glass of water every day. Um, that tissue is there. That was a moment where I was really, really mourning them. Um, and that is fairly rare now. Um, they passed away, both my grandpa and my grandma, my bupshire and my judger, a long time ago now. My judger passed away. My son was about one, so it would have been about 10 years ago. And my bupshire, she passed away like 19 years ago or something, like crazy like that. Um, so it's been a very long time, but I actually, it was her specifically that I was mourning um, a little while ago. It just all came back up again. So anytime it does, I find that very sacred, I suppose. Um, so I have that there and I will probably use that in a working at some point. Um, but it was just, you know, tears. So it's not, it's not like snot or anything gross like that. Um, so I have that sitting there on top of a can or under a candle. And this image I've talked about before, but um, this is just an image that was found in like a charity store or something, but it is dead fucking on for my grandpa. Like it looks exactly like my judger. It's not even funny. Like it's him in a picture. I'm like, how the fuck did this happen? He's like this amazing, like medieval knight. And I just, oh, I love it so much. So he's there. Um, and then I've got some um, Amberlin oil there. And then I've got, um, oh, behind there, there's like a little sort of perfume bottle, which um, smelled, uh, smells a lot like my grandma. It reminds me of her, even though I've got a few of her perfumes already. I keep that there. And then a cute little brooch which was hers as well all right now I'll show you this thing that I have over on the side so in this here I keep petition papers and I like to keep them on the altar because I feel it just kind of charges them up and they just get to like soak in the energy here so it's all just brown paper bag and thing like that so I like to use those and at the back I've got one of my mortar and pestles which I love so I have that sitting there I've got this little cauldron here so cute right it's actually actually I'm not going to tell you <laughs> I don't want to say um but yes it's a cauldron it's quite impractical um I really love that little cauldron I wanted a little cauldron for ages but I just find that I'm not really using it in my practice it's just too small so I use it for something else so Yes, that's what I'm going to say about that for now. Um, in the front here, I've got a cockatoo feather. Love that. And then here I've got the fairy oracle. Um, and then on top of that is a little, um, like, spiritual owl <laughs> that I made with crimson fire many, many years ago at her house. Hey, baby girl. I put Bellatrix down so she could just, like, sleep on the chair while I stood up and did this. And she's come and sit at my feet. She's so cute. You want to cuddle? Oh, my baby girl. No, she's playing hard to get. That's fine. And then behind there, I've got um, a candle holder that I've had since I was like 11 or 12 years old or something like that. <laughs> so I have that there. And then, oh, over on the side there, that, how cool is this? This is my owl um, backpack. So I use that when I go down to the beach um, when I'm going for, you know, magical purposes. So I take all my bits and pieces in there and, and head down to do the things that I do. I've got just various things in, in this mortar and pestle. Um, these are autumn things from last season and I have them all sitting in there. I just didn't want to get rid of them. I really liked them. So I want to use them for something, but they're just sitting there for now. I love the texture and all that sort of thing. So they're sitting there. And then this super cool candle here is actually one I purchased for a friend 
And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> I actually, I didn't see her for ages and ages and ages. And then I was like, I'm just going to keep it. And it's this cool design where like all the wax comes out on the side. And it's just so beautiful. So it is charged for a specific purpose. I haven't burnt it for a very long time though. So it's just sitting there. And then in front of it, a little art piece. Um, I don't remember who from, but you know, a little Etsy store creator that I got. And they just sent that little extra piece and I love it so much so it's there and then I have my black skull some of you will recognize this but this skull has been with me my entire practice <laughs> um and it's one that I'll never burn I use it more as like a a fetish I suppose um for various things but I just I love my skully so much he's got a few scratches and different things in him now and he's quite dusty actually I'm looking at him he's very dusty but um yeah, absolutely love him. And then I've got some roses there. Those ones were from my mum, I think. Um, I have some special dried roses around um, and drying roses. I actually have a lot of roses in here. I'm just looking around my room and there's quite, <laughs> quite a lot of bunches of roses. I really like roses. I just love that I can bring them more, you know, bring fresh flowers in and actually use them for craft as well. I don't just buy red roses. That is, oh, red, or roses, excuse me. Um, although this deity does really like the roses, but I love buying fresh flowers. And then over here, I've got, these are just fake flowers. So just something to brighten the place up and bring more of that, uh, nature-y vibe in my suburban wonderland here. Over here, I've got my healing bowl or singing bowl, if you like. Um, I don't know if you can see him. I hope you can. I've got this cute little owl over in the corner here. Let me just poke him out just in case you can't see. Isn't he cute? And he's reading. Ah, I love him so much. I think I found that in a charity store too. Um, and behind him, there is a cool bottle. I'm kind of annoyed about that one. I think I have told you guys about this in another tour before. I bought it from Etsy, but I thought I'd be able to use the bottle, but she's actually like the creator's like stuck it in there, like stuck all the bits onto it. So I can't actually open the bottle. It's just, it's literally just a thing to look at. Oh, it annoys me so much because I could have done so much with that. So that's really frustrating, but it's what it is. It is very pretty. It is what it is. <laughs> and behind that, I've got another cool lantern. Um, and that is another one that I found at a charity store. And then here, I'll show you this cool candle that I got. Um, this is from a store called Typo. It says no bad days and it's got the keys and um, the little planchette here. Um, living my best life without any regrets. So love that i'm not sure if i'll burn it or not i just kind of like it you know with the i don't know what they call it um the something stamp on it so i just yeah i just really like that so it was fairly expensive too so i feel like it's more of a an ornament <laughs> um, than a candle i'll burn but i might you know i'll keep it for a while and there you know it's certainly a, a candle that i can think of a few things that i would do with for that Okay, my loves, this has been my altar tour. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, I'm sure I will share another one of these, um, perhaps, you know, at the end of the next one that I create, um, although you'll be seeing whatever it is that I do behind me in my next video, no doubt. Oh, I don't know about my next video, because there is something I'm waiting on before I redo the altar, but I really, really wanted to start getting it cleared and stuff, but I just wanted to show you first. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I really love altar tours and stuff like that. So hopefully this, this hasn't been too long. If you have stuck with me, let's do a code word again, because I love seeing who of you actually <laughs> love me enough to stay the whole time and listen to me blabber on about things. All right, let's have our code word be Bellatrix, even though I mentioned her earlier in the thing. Do you want to see her now? She's so cute. She's giving herself a little bath. Hang on. Let's go have a look at her. Look at her there. She's so tiny and cute. Hi, baby. <laughs> giving herself a little bath. Yeah, so Bellatrix, that's going to be the code word. So if you've stuck with me this whole time, let me know. Um, I'm wishing you guys so much love and many, many blessings. And I'll be back to chat with you soon. Um, we're doing soon. We're going to do a book, uh, a book video. I'm going to talk about the books that I've read so far this year. That was a request from one of you guys. I'm going to try and do a library tour as well. Can I just quickly show you um, some of my mess? But this, I just don't know the logistics of actually showing you <laughs> the library. Uh, I've tried filming it before and it was a bit of a mess. So, um, oh, I, look, I'm watching Obsessive Compulsive Cleaners at the moment. 
fucking love this show. Do you guys know this show? It's the best. Maybe that should be the code word. I don't know. Anyway, back to Bellatrix. Anyway, so we've got that coming up. Um, I'm also going to be doing um, a channel shout outs video. Um, yes, we've done the altar tour. I'm just looking at my list of things that I need to get to. Oh, and fire cider. I'll show you how to make fire cider as well. So different bits and pieces coming up. I'm wishing you guys so much love, all the blessings, and I will chat to you again very, very soon. Bye. Over the sea to sky.